Okay guys, I'm going to bring piston number one to top the center. But uh, I have the engine assembled. I don't, I don't have access to the gears. Normally uh, in the timing cover, uh, you have one dent here with the mark for zero position. You see, you see that dent? And also in the harmonic balancer, you have another dent for the timing mark. In some engines, you have a you have an scale with degrees, and they say that this is zero, and you have a degrees after and degrees before to advance or retard the timing. All right, look at this. I am going to install again, and after that, I put in back this according with the key. My engine right now is aligned top the center. The mark on the on the harmonic balancer align it with the timing mark on the timing cover. You know? This is an indication that pist as if I have the head here with the valves, for sure the piston number one is in top the center. This is another way. I, I have the mark here and here. Remember, if number one is in top the center, number four is in top the center. But this one, if the if the mark is aligned, this is at the end of Compression. compression and this one at the end of so exhaust and both of them are in the button okay pay attention this is for sure the zero position of this engine in this moment because the engine is at zero position if you see come on here guys you have one mark one mark of the metal here and other mark of the metal here you see yes okay pay attention the recommendation of this engine is if the engine is at zero position the explosion should be six degrees before top dead center how can i do that look this mark we, if i want to install in this moment the fuel injection pump i lose this i lose this and i move it here at zero you see this is zero but this other small mark is six degrees before top dead center ah okay in this moment, with the engine off, I am going to locate this one in the second, in six degrees, and I am going to tighten the fuel injection pump. And now, if I start the engine, is in the in the point recommended, six degrees before top dead center. This is the moment recommended for this manufacturer. Ah, other manufacturer, they have other, but they have the mark to install the fuel injection pump. Is clear, my friend? This is the zero, 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 but this is six degrees before. Why I put it over there in six degrees before? To advance. Uh, because this is the, the recommendation uh, how to advance the timing. Some people say, okay, no, I want to put it in zero here. I want to start the engine and with the engine running, I want to move it to six. Okay, you can do that. If you have experience and you have a, a experience, basically you can do that. If you don't have experience, I prefer put six degrees before, tight and start the engine because this is ultra high pressure. Yeah, you need to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. Good? It's clear, my friends? Mm -hmm. It's nice, no? Mm -hmm. Some engines, they have in the flywheel, where is located the flywheel? This is the harmonic balancer. It's here, no? It's where the start motor engage to move the engine. Some engines, they have in the flywheel the marks of zero, six degrees, or four degrees before. Okay, you put the engine at zero, and you move the flywheel six degrees before and you insert the fuel injection pump in that moment. That's the process. Good, guys? Great? In gasoline engine is pretty similar, but let me tell to you something uh, about the advance or retard. Pay attention. This is the piston coming up during the compression. During the compression, 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 compression. The piston is going up with, with both valves close and before the piston reach the top the center some degrees before in gasoline engine the spark is produced in diesel engines the injector inject the fuel that's okay all right in gasoline engines that moment of the spark is around uh, 10 in between 10 and 16 degrees before the piston reach top the center 
in diesel engines, the moment of the injection is normally four or six degrees before the piston reach top the center. That's clear, guys? In general, there are exceptions. Okay. Uh, th this is the moment where uh, the, the, the explosion should be produced. When I, when I inject the fuel before the piston reach the top the center, I am advancing or retarding the time. Or, excuse me, if I inject the fuel after the piston reach the top the center and start to going down, this is advance or retard? You're advancing it. Excuse me, if I inject the fuel before the piston reach the top, this is advance or retard? Advance. I introduce the fuel in advance, before. Ah, excuse me. If I introduce the fuel after, this is retard the timing. Yes or not? But ah, okay, excuse me. I, I have a question. Why in both engines, gasoline and diesel, the recommendation is produce the spark before or inject the fuel before? It helps, so it doesn't, so it doesn't destroy excuse me? It helps push the piston down. Correct, and prevent destruction of the engine. Excuse me, what happened if, suppose I have a gasoline engine, what happened if the piston reached the top of the center and just after that, I, I produce the spark? You're I can <laughs> over speed and destroy the engine. This is why in both engines, the timing is a little before, not after. Because with the momentum of the engine, if you produce that explosion before, you help with the movement so if the, that explosion is after, you overspeed and destroy the engine. It's clear, guys? Good explanation?